my channel if you're new here my name is Marilyn and if you're not new welcome back today I'm going to be doing a palette bingo that I said I was going to be doing and I think I told you guys that like in March but I didn't have time and today and today I have a little bit of time so I'm going to be using the two Jeffree Star palettes that I have and I'm going to be doing a palette bingo. So this one is the Blue Blood palette and then I also have the Jeffree Star Thirsty palettes. And both of these I did get it in the mystery boxes. I will be getting three random shades from this palette and three random shades from this palette and then I'll create a look. Okay so this is what the Thirsty palette looks like. It's really pretty and this palette has, it has 15 shades so I'm going to be getting three random shades using my random number generator and here we go I got seven nine and four okay let's see what shadows did I get this time okay so I got seven seven is filthy rich and it's this like pretty gold and then nine is another shimmer and this one is snatched this one right here and then four is of course a brown or like an orange and it's called kumquat this one right there Okay, so it is an orange. I forgot what it looked like. And here's the three shadows I got from that palette. It's really pretty. Okay, now here is the Blue Blood palette. It's really pretty and kind of bulky, but that's okay. And here is the color story, very blue. So this palette has 18 shades. So I'm going to put one through 18 in the random number generator. And here we go. So I got nine seven and 15. okay so nine is this pretty blue right here and this one is called deceased and then seven is this one right here and that one is called power okay 15 is entitled and it's this one right there holy crap i got a lot of shimmers today okay so here is the color story that i have to work with today i got four shimmers and two mattes and i feel like this is going to be a really hard color story hopefully i could create something pretty with this so before i begin i am going to be priming my eyes with a what are you called the cover girl lid lockup primer and i will be doing this off camera and then i'll be right back okay you guys i'm back and i already applied eyeshadow primer and i did set it with a white shadow so i am ready to begin and i think i'm going to begin with an orange shade called kumquat from the thirsty palette and i'm going to be putting that shade all over my crease because that's like the only lightest shade i got so i have no other choice oh and just ignore my hairy eyebrows i need to plug them i mean i'm not gonna plug them i'm going to get them threaded next week Okay, I might put some on my lower left wing. Okay, so now I'm going to be putting this dark blue. And that one is from the Blue Blood palette. And that is shade number 7, I believe. Yeah, shade number 7. And that one is called Power. And I'm going to be putting that one like in my outer V. So hopefully it doesn't make the orange look all muddy. Okay, I was actually expecting this blue to be darker. I'm not really liking how it's looking with the orange. I feel like it's looking weird. Okay, now I'm going back into the orange. Well, first, just the brush without any extra product. And I'm going to try to blend out the edges of that blue, of that blue shade. Okay, now I just have shimmers left. So I'm going to be using glitter primer and it's the NYX glitter glue. I 
I'm going to be putting this blue and this blue. So I think I'm going to start off with the first blue, which is shade number nine, which is Deceased. It's a pretty blue. I don't think I have used that shade yet, so this is the first time and I'm excited. It looks really pretty. And I'm going to put it, I'm not sure if I should put it like halfway, like it's to make it look like it's getting winged out or something. I don't want to ruin this look more. Hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing. And hopefully it's not too dark because I didn't turn on my ring lights today. I didn't want it to get hot in here. I really like that blue, it looks super pretty. I think I should have added the other blue first. Okay, now I'm going into the aqua shade or teal, whatever you want to call it. That one is shade number 15. That one is called Entitled. And I'm going to put it up here very, very lightly. Okay, instead of blending the blue and the green this way, I'm blending them out like up and down instead. Hopefully that makes sense. Okay, I'm going back into Deceased. And now I'm going back into Entitled again, the green blue. Okay, now I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Okay, now for my inner corner, I'm going to be using the gold, this one right here, because that's like the lightest shade. And that one is from the Thirsty palette, and that one is called Filthy Rich. That looks really pretty. I should have added more glitter glue because I feel like it's crumbling. Okay, should I leave the top as is? I was thinking of adding this shimmer right here up here here but i'm not sure if it's going to ruin it let me try it just a little bit and that shade is called snatched from the thirsty palette hopefully this doesn't ruin it no it doesn't okay i'm just going very lightly i think it looks really nice it adds like a nice touch of shimmers on the top so i already used all of these shadows right here but for my lower lash line i think i'm going to be adding this blue right here because it's really pretty that one's from the blue blood palette and that one is called deceased it's this one right there by the way oh and i don't know if you guys noticed but most of my lashes on this eye are gone <laughs> because when I went to get a CT scan, I got like anxiety and I wanted to see what was going on when I was inside of the tube. And I opened this eye and it got like super irritated and it burned like, like when I got LASIK. So yeah, and then for some reason my lashes are falling now. <laughs> but anyways, that was my fault for opening my eyes, but it's okay, they'll grow back. Okay, I feel like I need to add more of that dark blue over here because it's getting kind of patchy and that one is called power yeah this blue is not my favorite the dark one that i put in my outer v okay i'm going back into the orange the kumquat shade to blend out the edges here it doesn't look that great but that's the only shade i have to blend out okay since i barely use this uh, shimmer right here. I think I'm going to put a little bit of that under my lower lash line next to the blue. I'm going to put a little bit of glitter glue so it stays there. I think I'm done with a look. 
So now I'm going to be applying eyeliner and mascara off camera and then I'll be right back. Okay you guys, I am back. I already applied eyeliner and mascara. So the eyeliner that I have on my top lashes, it is the... Keep dropping everything today. <laughs> okay, so the eyeliner, it is the Isadora Glossy Eyeliner in 40 Chrome Black. And then on my waterline, I have the Miss Hana Eyeliner in Galaxy Black. And then for my top lashes, I am using the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. And then for my lower lashes, I am using the Ulta Beauty New Heights Lifting Mascara. And for my lips, I am using the Maybelline 657 Nude Lipstick. So anyways, this is the final look. I know there's a bunch of glitter on my face from the shimmer that I put on my lower lash line. But it's okay, I don't really mind having glitter on my face. But anyways, this is the final look. What do you guys think? I think it looks really pretty. I really like how that, that shimmer blue that I have down here like goes up like that. I don't know if you guys can see it, but... I think it looks really pretty. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think of this look. Do you guys like it? Do you guys dislike it? And yeah. So anyways, this was the palette bingo using these two eyeshadow palettes by Jeffree Star. So anyways, that is all for today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye, guys. Tell me pretty lies. Look me in the face. Tell me that you love me. Even if it's fake.